communicate and want to validate you. Can you touch one of these? This funny looking device here, or the one on the couch? Point one and went back down to zero. Interesting. And I'll attempt sensors going off. Now attempt to, and there's no airflow in here. No, attempt sensors going off and I had a point, uh, point one. Good. And that's beeping a little bit. So they're interacting. Slightly. You're beep. You're beeping. No, that. So beeps that beeps too. also okay because you're beeping right now. Can you do what you did before? And touch the antenna instead. That time it did beep. Yeah, mm -hmm. the the, yeah, tear, the tear on the couch. Yeah. Can you validate that you're here? That's so weird. Well, I I'm glad you like the temp sensor. It's super fun. Yeah, but that's usually the easiest for them to uh, manipulate too. But we have other choices. If you go up to this and touch the antenna like that, then we can validate that uh, that you can hear us. Would you be willing to just let me know that you can hear my voice? If not, we're going to have to move along and you might miss your opportunity. That's okay. Yeah, it's that, that's your choice. The temp sensor's fun. They love the temperature sensor. It's always <laughs> the easiest for them. I prefer a little more excitement. Could you... Give me a little more. I like that. Very specific energy. Okay. Because they're, yeah, they're, they're close enough to set off the temperature sensor on the mm -hmm. male rim, but it's, it's only barely affecting the, the tear. Uh -huh. Which is interesting. I would think, like, if they were floating over the, <laughs> which now beeps, if they were floating over the tear, it ought to set it off. Well, they might be hovering yeah, just right a little, above it. Right. Well, we appreciate, you know, the the little bit of interaction you gave us. You did give off the proximity sensor when I first walked in. I literally think I surprised them. Yeah. I think I literally ran through that them. That happens a lot. I poked the meter through them. It sent off the proximity, and then they ran off. Yeah. And now they're, like, hiding kind of back in there. They're like, oh, yes. <laughs> um, this This male, he's just like, I don't really want to... I, like you guys are fine, but like I'm I'm cool. I'm good. Have a nice day. Oh, K2 hit. K2 hit. So you're you you don't really want to interact. You're you're just fine, doing your thing. Could you give me a validation on one of the meters to indicate that you just you'd rather us back off? And we can. But I would like you to validate. You want us to back off by really setting off one of these meters like big time. Give us one big hit, and we'll just take off. We'll leave. And we'll leave you alone. And I know it's not a circus trick. I know how you feel. Like, and give you a beep. How about that? I'm not really happy with that. I want a little bit more. That's good. Do you think we're just goofy? Is that what you think? <laughs> Thanks a lot, dude. Yeah, he he's got he's giving me such abdominal pain. He just yeah. doesn't, he doesn't feel well, and he just not really. He just doesn't. Not really digging it. He's not digging it. It's just their mere presence that's setting off the temp sensors. Yeah. I'm going to take it up. Oh, yeah. I'm going to grab the tear. Yeah. Well, you're alive. Why is it... Is there a scientific reason we'd be doing that? It's hitting on you. Just so that forward button all the way on the right, you need to reset it. Once it gets crazy like that. Yeah, see? See how it's, it's yeah. less likely to set on you if you hold it by the base. I'm holding it by the base. Yeah, right, I, I still think it was, it was... Now the cold, I don't know. See, that's more interesting. I'm holding very, very, at the very tip end. Yeah. Can you walk up to it? It's hitting on something. 
That is interesting. I don't know why it would be warmer though. Oh, now you're getting cold. Right when I said that. And the AC did just kick on. Where's the vent? Oh, it's way over there. It's way over there, yeah. So it wouldn't be hitting over there. There That's you are. interesting. There you are. That's what I said. They were literally reaching over the couch and then they leave. Found you. <laughs> That's right where I said they were. That's hilarious. Yep. That's why it's tripping the meter because it's, it's finding cold spots and warm right spots. There. Yep. All right, I'll leave you alone. I'm sorry. I hear that's cheating. I turned that's what I hear, I'm hearing. That's cheating. Hey! <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go run at three like I did the other meter accidentally. Well, cheating, so. <laughs> right? <laughs> I got a cold spot right here in the corner, but I can't reproduce it, so no. I don't know. Yeah. It's just, yes, that's just a window. Just weird now. Uh -huh. Oh, that's what this mud is for. When my daughter, my older daughter, this was her room before she went off to college, and she didn't like that yeah. door. And I noticed they put something in front of it, too. Mm -hmm. for a Man, I just felt all of a sudden massive heart pain. Really, like, just... It's just warmer in there. Exploded. <laughs> That's interesting. What are you getting, dear? Big warm spot right there. Is it going to be from the light, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think I'm gonna debunk that. Debunk it? Yeah, I'm gonna debunk that. Once you get a hit, you have to reset it because it's gonna say, oh, well, now that's colder than what it was. So then it gets confused. Trippy meter. Oh, now that's interesting. Why are the clothes cold? Yeah, I, I got a major cold hit right on that. Really? Strikes right. me as unusual. Yeah, it kind of is. And now not. And now it's gone. Hmm. It was like right in front of me yeah, for I a second. Kind of creeped out and weird in there. And you're running through a cold something. Yeah, and now my facial recognition's messing up on me on my camera. Mm -hmm. If that was you that made the meter go cold on the clothes like that, could you do that again? Just to give me validation, because I don't know why it went cold on the clothes. That's a male. Now I'm getting warm. Man, first I felt the abdominal pain, but now I just feel like massive, like something in the lower part of the heart. Something in the lower part of the heart. Can you just grab the meter in my hand? Really bad in the heart. Was that you? <laughs> Is that the K2 going off? K2's going off. Here was the temp sensor on the K2. Wow. And you got the gold spot again? Did yep. you document that? Oh, yeah. All right. It is warmer in here than it is out there, so I, I would debunk yeah, coming. Well, actually, <laughs> that's actually not showing a cold spot, though. No? That's the reading you. I'm alive. Yeah. That's really weird. That's just so painful. Reset. I'm not sure if it's coming from the same person or a separate person because like, this was a different pain. Just show feel, me that I was you. I this pain when I came Can you do that for me one more time? All of a sudden, it feels like something, like almost like the. Yep, there we go. The Thank heart. you. Something, the ventri something like a ventricle type of issue. Something went wrong. With my and now back away. Thank you. Intelligent? Yeah, I got it too. Okay. Can you do it one more time? This is just validation for the, for the clients. Go ahead and grab it one more time. I know, it's like it's doing a circus act. Like, dude, I've done it enough. F I got it up there, but... That's weird. Grab it for me one more time, would you? Appreciate it. It would just be good validation for the, for the clients here, for the homeowners. I don't feel as much energy. Yeah, it's like it, I scared it off. You can stop scaring yep. the dead people. Yeah, Maybe he'll like me more. But it's also good validation that I'm getting another. Oh, there it is. See, he you're likes me better. You're running away from me. <laughs> he likes yeah, you're me right more. next to me, and I'm getting cold spots. It's not even re registering. He, he, he likes me better than you. I don't know even what the hot spots about. I don't either. What's up with the cold spots on the clothes? Seriously, don't know. I can't even begin to explain that. Even getting weird warm spots. Maybe I had my hand too hard. I'm really picky about my evidence, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. Grant wants, uh -oh. like, clean, perfect evidence. Yeah, no, it's 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 a great right, look, look at that, look now at that. Now that's a good hit. Yeah, that is. I don't know why it would be going off that cold. Get back away. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Very, very appreciated. That's pretty interesting. All right, we're going to stop bugging you. 
Well, I think you gave us good enough it hits. Seems to be it's good validation. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. He died early. He says he died early. All right. What you say? All right. That was good. Thank you. I appreciate that. And now reset that. Are you done with this room? Or? Yeah. Okay. I, I can't take the physical pain anymore. Okay. I got you. Pain is too intense. Take a picture. <laughs> A big white orb flew up at the, the camera. Oh, of course, and you didn't get it. Well, that happens. So now I'm going to be annoyed and try again. Whoa. I saw that. Yeah, that was interesting. Can you come back and maybe tell me why you're setting that off? Or maybe touch this one again? Because you touched it one time. It's real easy. That wood box was a gift from one of Leah's uh, really good friends that she rented a room with. It was kind of oh, like okay. a second father to her. At her graduation, he carved and made that. So I might have some energy from him. Yeah, I'm not getting as much energy on it now as I was before, but it's still specking it a little mm -hmm. bit. The mail is uh, the templates on the mail is hitting. Okay. That has got a little bit of energy, just residual, but it's. Yeah, residual energy can still give off. Some <coughs> a wooden a wooden box is giving off micro Teslas. Three micro Teslas on a wooden box. Is there? What do we get? It's the box. Just look at that. Just a little bit, but about three to four micro Teslas on this box, and it was a gift from a friend. I'm gonna flip to the x-axis. Then you wanna know why? Uh, oh. Hold on a minute. You sure you didn't trip it on the door? I am positive. That's right when I get it to record, it stops. Of course. Well, you I think I got that one. I think I got. Maybe sad. But I think I captured it though. Can you come back? Back off. Hmm. Huh. Well, it's good documentation that it wasn't the doorway. Toggle it between different readings. Um, it can show you barometric, it can show you air pressure, all sorts of different readings on that, but that's currently the, the temperature in the space. So if you see it suddenly drop or increase, like out of nowhere? Yeah. Hmm, if, you hit display, if you hit display on that, you can just cycle through the, the numerical displays for, okay. for each different value. Yeah, that's... About three to four micro Teslas on that box. That's pretty interesting. And sporadic on the piano, but not real high. I haven't gotten anything real high on the piano yet. Just maybe, maybe two, two point five on the piano. Damn it! It had a point one. Oh, did it? it did. Should have said something. I could have zoomed in on it. Well, I, it I didn't realize. It was really quick, and then it popped off. Can you come back? I don't think. I think this is residual. It might be. It might be. Yeah. Well, shall we continue the meter sweep? But yeah, I am definitely getting a residual EMF uh, in this house, especially on that box. Four microtoses is a bit high for a wooden box, I gotta tell you. Three, four microtoses here, but there's some there's some electronic stuff there, like so. Just sporadic, you know. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Weird and sporadic. Anything interesting on there? Nothing. Four micro tussles on that. So when you're done, um, when you're done working with a client here, mm -hmm. I would like sage sage this, okay. especially the foot because we discharge energy through our feet, and we're, I'm getting some residual EMF hits on there. there. A little bit, not a lot, but just enough, you know, just to just to reset it. It wouldn't be a bad idea. That's interesting. Oh, there's a little sunroom. There's my waiting room and entrance up here. Oh yeah, cool. All right. I don't think we saw that part yet. Oh, okay. It's cool. I love it. It's separated off and there's a little pond and Hello, Scout. There's background in here. We're good. This is actually a good space. I like it. Yeah, it feels very centered. Warmer, but yeah. Yeah, this was going to be my massage room when I first did it. It was like, you can't keep it hot in the winter. And right. Cool yeah, yeah. Hello. Well, that was interesting. And I don't think I was near enough at to set it off either. Yeah, I'll put it closer to where energy discharges. Well, I was just telling him I was getting EMF hits on the foot of the, foot of the bed there too. 
which is, I don't, again, I think that's residual from clients' feet. We are talking about how energy exits clients' feet, and I was getting energy there, so. Client, yeah, some clients have been like, whoa. I had the camera on it, so. Whoa. Hey, hello. That was good. Thank you. I think it was residual, but. But it's still been a residual buildup, yeah. It's still very. Because I got EMF yeah, there. I got EMF there too. Okay. And I've been Box. getting. I was getting four micro Teslas yeah. of energy on there, which is a little high. So that's what that's what Just on that box. That's twice background, right? and I yeah. and I did debunk that it's not anything in the wall. The wall was not zero. Wow. Yeah. So I did. So that's kind of cool. It wasn't wiring in the wall. It's not the piano. It's just that box. When you put the meter on the box, it gives off three to four micro Teslas. Wow. So I do believe it's residual energy. I don't think it's a haunted box or anything like that. <laughs> it's a, yeah. It's, I'm all, that thing's leaving right no, now. No, no, I don't think it's a haunted object. I think it's residual energy. And so um, smudging it would take care of it. I don't. Well, I'll be smudging it today. So yeah, exactly. That should help it. Exactly. And I don't feel like it's negative. It's just, it's just like the person that gave that to you, mm -hmm. it still has their energy on it. Makes sense. Good yeah. Powerful. Yeah. He's Very really much so. So, yeah. yeah. So that's all, I th that's all I think it is, and like you said, just nudging will yeah. we'll push the reset around. button on that. Well, we can, we can continue if you like. I do think that was a residual hit, but it was a good hit. We're just doing meter sweeps. Ooh, four or five micro Teslas, that's interesting. Okay, this doesn't surprise me though. We are getting a little bit, bit of just a slightly above background on the bed, and we see that with gifted people all the time. Yeah, we do. So we'll just, we'll just be sending you the grounding document. And it's just above background, it's not even that high. That's a three, three and a half. Again, I think we're getting energy in here from, from the their, 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 sleepy, their sleeping energy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is living energy. Yeah. Yeah, that's the side. Okay. You gave off energy. Yeah, see, I think it was just residual. It means Oh. Oh. So that's why it has less on that side. That makes sense. Because you just can't. Get so that. Yeah. Wow. That makes a lot of sense. We're going to have to figure All right. On the wood and Are you going to go up there? Yeah. I just want to do a quick meter uh, tri field sweep All right, up here. Get the meters I want to do through. All right. Let's see where we got. Well, that's giving off some energy. It's turned off, though. It's pretty interesting. That's interesting. Do the daughter's room real quick. Oh yeah, got some EMF in here. Do do do. Oops. Huh. There's a lot of electronic stuff down there, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, this is the same space where we got the cold spots, along with some warm spots, and I am hitting a little bit on the electromagnetic spectrum. Give me a good spike. Huh. Spiking on the clothes that set off the cold meter. That's super interesting. It's just, these two shelves. Mainly this shelf seems to be where it is. Does it have anything to do with there's a light switch? I was thinking about that, but that's uh, that wouldn't have had anything to do with the the same cold spots that we got here. So it's again that's layered approach. It's not real high, but it's it's going up to four micro a little bit in places, and it's sporadic. It doesn't seem to be confined to anyone. You're just moving around, bouncing around. Seemed to me that it was confined to this area, but now I'm not getting anything. There, let's move to three on that. Yeah, it's these two. 
Moving to three and four on these two. Yep. Uh, and that's right where I was getting the cold spots too. So that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Eh. Went to four right there. See, it's sporadic. It's right in front of these clothes though. It's like something's looking at the clothes. Huh. Four in there. Nothing higher than four though. Pretty interesting. When, how high do you see when there's really something that's going on? Well, that depends on the case. So, when we get to one micro Tesla, that's 10 milligauss. So that's like basically four of the five lights on the little K2 meter mm -hmm. that I had. So one on this would be about four lights on that. That's, okay. a, that's about the crossover. Basically, the, with a little bit of crossover, this the capabilities of this start where that ends. And so anything that's too high for the K2 meter will actually register as zero. It won't peg it out like you would think. So on the MF meter on the, on the Eddy meter that I had you <laughs> carrying around, it works the same exact way. So this measures higher energy, but still in very, very low uh, forms on the electromagnetic spectrum. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's not anything that we could feel with our skin or anything like that. So, but this goes, and this goes up to 100 microteslas, and I've pegged it before. Wow. Normally not. Normally you don't peg it. Like the highest you normally see, like right there, I got four. The highest you normally see is 10, 15 microteslas would be a really big spike. That's 150 milligauss. Mm -hmm. So that'd be a big spike, 10, 15. I only had it pegged to the 100 on one case, and that was the Nazi helmet from World War II where he died on the Russian front. Oh, wow. And that was, that was pegging to 100. Yeah. And then it left. I might have got it. I so might have right got it. So the yeah, right to the side of it. Can you come back, please? Thank you. They're like literally crawling up the wall. Is this thing? Mm -hmm. Shit. Come no. back, please. Thank you. Oh, they did. They're. Now they're somewhere else. So remember, you got a reverse image, it. so. A doorbell? Busy trying to map the dead. Can you come closer? Come back. They're like dodging me. They're, they don't yeah. want to be mapped for anything. They're watching what's going on, but they don't want their picture taken. It's hilarious. So what we feel is that we're mapping yeah, the spiritual I, I, energy. This, yep, yep, did you see that? Hi. What is it? It's like, a, is it on the roof? In the room there? Is that where it is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, because I see the door to the laundry room on the left. It would, it's on your right, but again, reverse image. So it's inside the massage room. Hanging on the roof, which they can actually do that. Is there a ceiling fan? Okay, no. so there's nothing that could be mismapping. And the air should be off in there? Yeah. Well, that one, that won't affect that. The fan will just because it's got five blades. The mic, can the... you tell, like, who it is? Not that's what just Melissa's, yet. That's what really Melissa's for. Give me a minute. Somebody's really skinny, though, you think? Yeah, <laughs> well, oh, it's a, it mounts it as a stick figure because it uses that Microsoft Connect technology. It's a female. She was. She's like, I wasn't exactly skinny, dear. Um, I think, but thank you for saying so. I'm having trouble focusing. There we I, go. I very much appreciate that. You're standing on your head. Hi. Can you wave? Right, right there. Right tell there, me that right wasn't. There. Tell me that right wasn't a wave, right? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Tell me that wasn't a wave. Yeah, she waved right at us. You don't have to hide from us. She's like, but I don't really want to interrupt. I just, I'm just here. Don't, I'm not trying to interrupt. You're not interrupting. You're the star of the show, ma'am. All right. Really? You want to hop down off of there? Hop down onto the floor? That would be cool. I'm just trying to follow her. <laughs> I know you are. She's like, I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, no, she's like, I'm trying to go through the roof. Ah, let me out of here. Don't scare her. Can you come yeah. down? That, there she goes. She's gone. Yeah. Thank you. You got too close to her. Well, that's okay. That was good. I just wanted, that was good documentation. I though. wanted to kind of follow her a little bit. And yeah, and there's nothing on the, yeah. on the ceiling that would map. There's can, nothing in the map as a humanoid. You can, see right the, 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 you can see that it was mapping above the pictures. You can see the pictures mm -hmm. there. It was uh, mapping. It was right, mapping right there. There's absolutely zero to map there. There's that no, was kind of cool. <laughs> nothing for it to mismap. That was a good cat. Well, They're I, just hiding. I, had to, I had to stalk them a little. <laughs> shy, shy dead people. Yeah. Those are your dead people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yours are louder. Yeah, yours yeah. are quite, much quieter, much more subdued. Um, yeah, she seems like a little bit uh, pleasantly fluffy. Um, soul. 
If it was my grandma, yeah, that's, she's slightly. She was little, but she was comfortable. Um, yeah. Well, she, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she ate her food. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. We were all a fluffy. Well, well, comfortable. <laughs> Very good. Oh and man, these dead people are hilarious. That's the sound right here. Oh. oh, okay. So, so it is the vases. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, it's when nobody's here. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. obviously, it's one of your dead. Something's or bumping into. Bumping into. The wow. Vase. That's. And and you know for a fact it's not one of the dogs. And then it would yeah. be when it's placed and it's not steady because I've gone and touched it before and yeah. it doesn't move like that. You have to touch it pretty good. Mm. That's okay. interesting. It is. You gonna move on to spirit box? I think so. Okay. Thank you. 